Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. Here's oh goodness, I'm doing that sweaty hat hair thing again. <sighs> it was a beautiful Memorial Day here. So, yeah, I got a little toasty. Actually, I spent most of the day laying in bed, waiting to die. Um, I had a really bad afternoon for vertigo. It was awful. I, I couldn't even get up and walk to the bathroom with my eyes open. I had to feel my way with my eyes closed. And the pills weren't helping. And I thought, this time it's not going to stop. But it, it, it got better finally. But it was terrible because I was just laying there. I couldn't stand to listen to my book. I couldn't stand the noise of it. Hi, baby. Couldn't have my dog in the bed with me. Couldn't... Have the TV or anything on, couldn't look at TikTok, couldn't look at YouTube. I could not do anything but lay there with my eyes closed and be awake because I wasn't sleeping, and it went on for literally hours and hours. Ugh, it's very frustrating and very, very unpleasant. So, if you ever have somebody tell you that they suffer from vertigo, have a lot of sympathy for them because I'm not kidding you, it's miserable. Oh, and I've kept getting sicker and sicker. I mean, like to my stomach, you know. It was pretty bad. Hopefully, I'll be all better tomorrow. We're supposed to go out to eat to that Brazilian steakhouse. It's try number two. Mm -hmm. Which I'm hungry right now, to be honest. <clears throat> I was sick all afternoon, but now that I'm not really that sick anymore, I'm starving. I don't know what I want, though. Probably just cheese and crackers. I went and got a uh, tea. Yep. Are you helping mommy? Are you helping mommy a little bit? He yeah. says I am, I am. I know the caffeine's not good for vertigo. But the vertigo gave me a terrible, terrible headache. And uh, I needed some help with it. And caffeine often helps my regular headaches not my migraines just my headaches so anyway I know you're probably bored of hearing about it but I feel bad <laughs> I don't feel good and if I can't complain on my own channel well then where can I complain so oh this is not the same shirt I had on yesterday before anybody even starts with me the one I had on yesterday was neon yellow this is a slub fabric, and it is more of a banana yellow, and we love this shirt. I know it's a little see-through. I don't care. I really don't. It's got the stupidest design on the back, and I don't care. So I think it's a sailboat in waves, you know, just kind of outlines, like from a child's coloring book kind of picture in white. But I love this shirt. It's so comfortable. And it's thin and it's not hot at all. It's just very comfortable, I'm telling you now. TJ Maxx. Not bad. So let's see. My dog's about to go off. Well, dear, you wanted down. I don't think Grandma's going to let you traipse on her. I don't think you care. Then again, she might. She lets that dog get away with blue murder, I'm telling you now. She loves that dog. She's patting his butt. She's laying over there. If I show her now, she'll kill me. She's laying over there with her BiPAP on because she was trying to take a nap. And I just won't allow it for some reason. I just came in here and plopped my butt down in the recliner and said, It's time to do our video. Oh, oh that made me dizzy. Sorry, just give me a second. Anyway. There's not a lot more miserable than not even being able to turn your head. My migraines are worse though, aren't they, Mom? Yeah. Yeah, they really are. So let's see. 
Hardly anybody's entered our giveaway. I mean, I've got people watching the videos, but they're not entering. It's for a gift card for a restaurant. That'll be cool. Okay, hold on. I'm reading a notification across the top of my screen. Well, hi, Bonnie. You just sent me a notification about Heather having to leave. So, Chris, what's up with you, buddy? Tomorrow's not special, but the next day is the zoo. And I get a present from my girlfriend. Birthday, early birthday. Yep. You know what's a bummer? What? He missed working today because it was a holiday. Yeah. He's the only person in America that doesn't want a three-day weekend. Everybody else wants a three-day weekend. But when you only work on Mondays, you just take what you can get. Yep. Ugh. What did you get her for her birthday last year? I'm trying to remember. It's hard to keep track of them all. You got her. Says a piece of jewelry, but that could be the birthday before. I don't know. When is her birthday? In July. It's coming up. Yep. Do you know what you're getting her this year? Not yet, but I'm aiming to save fifty dollars towards it, whatever it is. Wait a minute. Last year, did you take her to Olive Garden? I think so. Yeah. For her birthday? Not her birthday, I don't think. It was just a mm -hmm. day. We ought to do that again. That was fun. Yep. I, you can tell everything sounds good to me right now. I'm starving. I haven't been able to eat a bite all day, and it's 7.30. I was going to make pork chops and everything that goes with them tonight, but yeah, by the time good. I got well enough to stand up... It was just too late to do it, and I don't think I'm well enough to stand up for as long as that's going to take. So, yeah. Anyway, why, I told Mom, I said, why can't I have, like, a normal illness? Why can't I have, like, chicken pox? You're sick for two weeks, and it's over. You have an end date to shoot for. You just go, okay, I, I have this broken leg and it sucks but in 8 weeks or 12 weeks I'll be back to normal or you know I have this cold and I'm not happy about it but in a week to 10 days I'll be better and it'll be back to normal and there's nothing mysterious and nothing that's not understandable about it and it's just boom and boom I can't get sick like that I don't know why I always have to get some weird chronic thing that nobody knows what's causing it and has no definite end date so you can't look forward to getting better. Kind of sucks. Kind of sucks a lot. And the dog's not happy with me either because I can't play with him or pay attention to him. And he's a good boy. Feel bad for Wolf because he's, he's a good boy. He's a good, good boy. Oh, I am going to have some crackers and cheese, I think. Hey, Ben. Huh? Is there anything you'd like to come out and do for the video? Mm. Not really. Can you hear Mom's machine? It sounds like she's snoring, but she's not. It's her machine. I don't think the machine's on right now. Yeah, it's on. Yeah, it's, I can't hear it. Bless her heart. So, do you know what you're going to wear tomorrow? Not yet. I know you got one of your favorite new shirts on, and pair yep. of shorts. You going to wear shorts again? I'm going to wear shorts for as long as I can. Where's your clogs? I need new ones. You had some good ones at the end of the year last year. What happened to them? I put them on when it was warm enough for them, and they just wouldn't go on the back anymore. 
Honey, you're too old for your feet to grow. Actually, that's not true. Your feet grow your whole life. But not that much. Yeah, I can half wear them for front butt back extended, but you see I'm going? Mm. But just the back won't fold over the heel anymore. And they look funny worn the other way and don't cover my feet bottoms all the way. I don't know. He loves to wear clogs in the summer. He really does. And I like to see him doing it because it gets him out of socks and, like, airs his feet out. And I, in some vague way, think that that's good for them. I don't know why, um, but... Yeah, yeah. What? Oh, I'm talking. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. Should have known better. I'm not yet. I give up. I don't know. So I've been watching Jenna Phipps on YouTube. Does anybody else watch her? She's a thrifting and sewing and knitting and crocheting channel. She's pretty popular. If you watch her, leave a comment down below because i got a question about her. The more I watch her, the more I think she's autistic. And I'm not saying that in a bad way at all because both of my kids are autistic. Ben's Asperger's and Chris's autism, both on the spectrum. And some of the things she does are so familiar to me. And I'm just curious if she has it. So if you know or if you have, if you think she is, let me know what you think. My doctor told me last year that a lot of the doctors she knows have Asperger's, which I thought that was interesting. It must help them study because once they get fascinated with something, they will study it completely. They would study it completely even if they weren't going to be a doctor. They just, are, they just do that. Ben used to be that way about computers. It's not so much anymore. Now you know he's just stuck on his Apple products. So I don't think we got anything big coming up around here, do we, Chris? I don't think we do. Except, like I said, maybe going out to eat tomorrow. And uh, Ben doesn't have anything to add. Is there anything you want to add? No. Nah. Not even a quote? You guys haven't given me a quote in a long time. I'll have one for tomorrow, but my phone was too low to look up one today. I might do a couple shorts at the restaurant tomorrow, so keep your eyes out for it. Okay. Guess that's it. Time to talk about the giveaway. We are doing a $30 giveaway to an unnamed restaurant, but I promise you it will be fairly local to you. It's going to be nationwide, just like our giveaway, except for Alaska, Hawaii, and the territories. Um, we are not an international giveaway, so what should you comment today? What do you think, Chris? What is your favorite... And I don't have lost it because that. That was a good you know, one. Well, it was like a favorite something we haven't covered here. Is all I can remember now. Dang. That really isn't a lot of help, Chris, just so you know. Yeah. Oh, you I dork. Good, it wasn't a genre. <coughs> but it was like a favorite. I couldn't tell what, what this is. I knocked it out of my head that fast. But. Okay, one of your favorite musical groups. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. For me, it's going to be Pink Floyd and R.E.M. and Counting Crows and Fleetwood Mac and who else, Chris? Is that about it for me? Those are my you top like, favorites. Those are your top favorites. What do you like more? Oh, I like so many groups. I really do. So, yeah. Well, yours was on track to what I was going to do, but darn it, I had it in my head and that's annoying. So, what are your favorites? Duran Duran. Oh, completely. Yeah, he loves Duran Duran. R.E.M. as well. Mm -hmm. And 
there's a couple songs I like from Survivor and a couple songs I like from um, Counting Crows. Well, I like a bunch from Counting Crows. I'm trying to remember the other one I like too from Fleetwood Mac, Pink Floyd. I like more than two from them, too. He likes 80s music. As well, some 70s and some early 90s. Yeah. I mean, I like that kind of music, too, but like primarily... Like early 90s? If you start hearing Britney Spears, you've gone too far in the 90s. Primarily, if he could only have one decade of music, he would probably choose the 80s. Yep. What's the name of that song you and your girlfriend have for your song? When in Rome, The Promise. Yeah. I. What is the When in Rome song I like? I think it was The Promise. What's the one you use? You're right. It is The Promise. What's the one you use for your ringtone? That one's from Jermaine Jackson in conjunction with the actress from the movie it's from, which is Pia Zadora. Pia Zadora. But it's called When the Rain Begins to Fall. Yes. I'm not a fan, and it's his ringtone from her, and I just sets my teeth on it. It was from a sci-fi movie called Voyage of the Rock Aliens. It starred Pia Zadora. Okay. How good was it, really? It's become a cult movie. Termaine Jackson. It's become one of them cult movies where people dumpstered on it because the plot was stupid. Yeah. But it's become as cult classic as other sci-fi movies like The Last Starfighter and other movies like it. And the plot of Voyage of the Rock Aliens is a high school rock band gets in a rock battle with aliens searching for a planet which has the soul rock and roll on it. Quality flip. Yep. I'm sure Siskel and Ebert loved it. My I don't goodness. know the ratings it got. No one seems to talk about it. Because Siskel and Ebert refused to give it any thumbs up or thumbs down. They refused to even review it. They thought it was that dumb. I bet it has a zero on Rotten Tomatoes. I'll betcha. Oh. But despite the poor reception it got... People say it's actually a good movie. It's just the plot was so stupid, people didn't give it a chance. Okay, but listen, seriously, one of our favorite movies, which I'm embarrassed to admit this, I I am embarrassed to admit this, one of mine and Chris has been, as a family, to watch together, one of our favorite movies is Dude, Where's My Car? <laughs> it's pretty stupid, but it's funny at least. It is so dumb. It is so stupid, and it's insulting to women, and gays, and strippers, and aliens, and uh, people who... Don't forget stoners. Stoners, yeah, the stoners, and dogs. It's an insulting movie. And cars. No, the cars, the car's the star, no. The car is just a... Plot device. A plot device. It's also very insulting to small-breasted women. And twins. It's just the strangest movie. Yeah. So I can't really say anything about movies with stupid plots. This is a stupid plot. Okay, I've been saying I'm going to get off here now for about seven minutes. So I'm really going to get off here. What is it, Wolfington? Wolfington? You're very pretty. He wants to get off the video. He wants me to put the phone away. His name is not Wolfington. No, it's Wolfgang. So, I just we just call him everything. That poor dog. He has about 4,700 different names. So, yeah. Comment down below. What musical group or artist do you like? I guess that's it. Come see us tomorrow because we're doing a video every day until our giveaway's over. And it ends on the 31st at midnight. And then we'll do another video on the first to announce the winner. So, Okay, thank you for joining us. Say a little prayer for me because I'm not going to last very long with this word to go. And uh, take care of yourselves. And we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.